Hello guys, welcome back to today's news point. We are in the mid of video lecture. We are discussing about the application run for Android. We are in UI controls. The UI controls that we are discussing now is a spinner. So if you can recall, this is a spinner. It is a drop down list that we see and we choose one option out of it. So a spinner is a UI control which allows you to choose an item from the drop down menu. So now how can we add a spinner would be the, would be the part of this particular session. So first of all, the properties of the spinner. These are the properties of the spinner starting from the ID. ID is a unique name for the spinner. We use this ID in our activity or in our Java file. Then is the on click method. We call this method whenever in, in the views context, whenever the view is clicked. Then is the visibility. By visibility, we mean like uh, is the spinner visible or it's invisible or it's gone. So after this, this is the how to create a spinner in your application you simply uh, start up a new android studio you create a new android application after that you go to the activity underscore main.xml file here you include the ui that you want after this not much to be done you open up your main activity.java here you have to take a spinner item fetch the spinner item call up an array adapter add that add the element to the array adapter and then set the adapter in the spinner then if you run the application, it should run exactly the way it is showing in the our U, in our UI. So let's see how do actually we get the spinner up and running. We have assumed that we are having a spinner named as a spinner in our XML file. Then we set the set on item click listener. This listener is quite similar to the on click listener, but we have done it by implementing this on item selected listener interface by adding this particular interface it would ask us to implement the two methods that are there so we are having two methods the first method being the on item selected the second method being the on nothing selected so like if in case i select the item on my spinner this method automatically gets invoked and if in case it happens that the spinner uh, adapter is empty or there's nothing to show in the drop down, then we get the result as on nothing selected. So now what we do is we take up our array list and add some elements into the array list. The name of the array list over here is categories if you can see properly, right? So now after adding this, uh, all the elements to the array, we call the array adapter class. Here if you look properly, you can recall it over here. This is quite similar to the autocomplete uh, text view when we did. What we are doing here is we are having a category uh, array over here. This array is being added to a layout that is simple spinner item. Simple spinner item is a very basic item which is having a text view to show to the user. You add your category to this, to, uh, to this particular spinner item and then this adapter is initialized and it will create for a spin it will create the item for all the elements that are there in the array after this you you do you don't do much you just set the adapter into your spinner by spinner dot set adapter and if you want your spinner to be drop down you can uh, go for an option wherein you can add a set drop down view resource and this would be an option additional option which would help you to have a drop down with a radio button like the one we which we saw in the starting image you were given a button in the starting of the country you this is optional you can also ignore this and whenever the user clicks a spinner it comes to the to the on item selected listener this on item selected listener comes over here from here it invokes this on item selected method this method is having four parameters the first parameter is the parent of the adapter which is getting clicked. The second being the view which is getting clicked. The third is the position of the element in the array which is being clicked. And fourth is a long, it is a row ID which is clicked. Now what we do is from my adapter view, I get the item that was at, a, at this position. Say I, I have chosen computers. Computer is at position number two. So what I do? I ask it to get the item that is at position 2 and convert this to to string and save it in a string named as item and show this item. How 
is this get item coming at this is coming from this adapter view this is the parent that is being passed on whichever view is being clicked and this shows a toast after the toast the user is able to see the entire thing on his ui or, or a toast on his layout so this is about the spinner let me uh, come again once for you i create the spinner object and i get it from the xml i set the on item selected listener after this one i create an error list in the error list i add the elements i initialize the adapter adapter array adapter is having three parameters first being the context second being the it uh, second being the ui on which or the layout on which the array adapter is being set third being the array which you want to set into this adapter after this we set the drop down list with the radio button by passing that which layout i want to pass over here i add this one this is optional as i've already told you after this you set the adapter the data the data adapter in this one and you are good to go if an item is uh, selected or an item is clicked in the spinner the flow come to this to the, to the on item selected listener it fetches the item based on the per parameters it has got it looks for which uh, parent was or which adapter was adapter view was clicked that is a parent over here from the parent it got the item position like say if computers is the case like what is at second position in the array it is a computers so we convert it into a string save it into the na string named as item and this item is passed as a toast to the ui on the screen now we don't do any, anything nothing selected as of now but you can add this one so this is a typical coding of a spinner in the ui when we drag and drop it's having a id this was the id that we called in our java file so guys i hope you would have got uh, some idea brief idea about spinner uh, stay tuned as you will be having a demo wherein we will be going through all the individual items and individual links one by one to see how a spinner actually works and how do you actually show it so thank you guys stay tuned as we have a quick demo on our android studio guys to get started let's open up our projects in the project go to your in the layout folder go to your activity in school main.xml in the activity in school main.xml you can see that i have taken up a, edit, a, a text view and a spinner a text view is having a simple text which says that choose the name of the country and we have chosen a, a spinner now let's quickly go to our main activity or java and there we would be adding the values in this particular drop down so to get started we first make the object of the spinner by spinner we name it as spinner and we type cast it into the java from my xml1 after this i set up on item selected listener this listener would be returning me the item that has been selected now in order to use this one we need to use the on item selected listener this interface should be there in our activity so we make our main activity implement this particular interface after doing so it is asking me automatically select the methods that you want to implement as you are already aware about the concepts of interface in a interface all the methods are abstract or and are not having any body whichever class uses them has to give them its own body so we what we do is we simply add up and say yes you can give us these particular methods we will be coming into the methods after some time like let's first set up the spinner first then we would be coming and seeing how the methods that is on item selected listener and on nothing selected would be worked upon after this we take up a array list the array list is of type string we name the array list as country and we define it over here now we need to add some elements to this array this can be easily done using the add method i am adding first of all let's add india 
then I add Nepal I have add Paris that would be all as of now for this now after this I would be taking up an array adapter as we are already aware about that an array adapter is a bridge that would be acting between the UI element and the data source so I take up this array adapter I name this as country adapter or country AD let's say country AD then we declare it as new array adapter of the type string now it would be having three parameters first is the context we, we take it as this after this it is asking me which particular list I want to be added to this particular array adapter after this I pass the array that is country so the code looks good till here now I need to set up my spinner on this adapter so I have been able to set up the spinner on my adapter so as you've seen this method previously also like these are having four parameters the first parameter is the, is the view which is the parent view basically then is the item that is being clicked this int i is the position of the of the element in the array which is clicked and l is the row id which is clicked so now let's quickly go add up and fetch the string that is being added into this one so i name this string as string item and i fetch it using adapter view dot get item at position the position is i over here and i convert it into the string after this i take up the text view object over here Click on find view by dr dot id dot string text view underscore text equal to tv dot get text dot to string. After this, nothing much remaining. I just need a toast to be shown to the user that he has selected this particular value. I hope you are very much aware about the toast. So not much to be done over here text plus let's give some space this is already there I think then add item over here so after this if I if I would be running my application it would be showing whatever country is selected into my toast now one thing that is remaining is what is this method on nothing selected for see this method is basically whenever the data source is empty or you know like the adapter becomes deactive so at that point uh, in this adapter view see it's having only one parameter for that purpose so now let's quickly run our application and see how it behaves in my phone so here's my application this is running and I, I'm asking to choose a country I choose the country as Nepal in this one it says choose the name of country Nepal then I choose India the output is choose the name of the country it's India guys I hope you have got a fair idea about how a spinner works this is this drop down is another spinner and how do you add elements to it how do you set the on items related listener and all the stuff related to the spinner so that was all about the spinner from our side stay tuned as we take you through the other controls in detail